amazing friends okay this question we are told that we have this is not drawn they are not drawn to scale please the three of them they are supposed to be squares okay so this is the first square the second one and the third one now the question say we should find the sum of the three the area of the three squares so if we get the area of the first square we add it to the area of the second square and then add it to the area of the third square now if we call this the first square i and call the second square i i and call the third square i i i now first of all area of a square area of a square is equal to length squared okay length squared all right so that means that area is equal to l raised to the power of two now we have three squares here how do we go about it now first of all if we call the length from here to here a that is if we call here a that means that let's call this b okay let's just give them different um variables that is the length from here to here is b now the length from here to here is c okay now this one is a you will notice that we have three variables and it will be difficult for us or if not impossible for us to use these three variables to get to our destination so what do we do now let's try to see if we can get everything in terms of a particular variable let's say b okay now first of all if from here to here is b it simply means that from here to here is b minus 2 right so we can actually clean this a and call it this place to be b minus 2 so we are going to replace a with b minus 2 okay b minus 2 that is it for this length b minus 2 all right the whole of this is b we are not going to touch it now let me write this b well since i can't see it very well okay so this place now is b minus 2 that is from here to here is b minus 2 now the whole of this is b if we also relate this side to b it means that if from here to here is c from here to here is 6 and the whole of this is b right it means that this small portion will be b minus 6 so we have from here to here is b minus 6 now remember that this is a square remember that this is a square so if this place is b minus 2 it means that from here to here is also b minus 2 so we have b minus 2 here now from here to here we also be what if from here to here is b then from here to here we also be b so we have b here if from here to here is b minus 6 then from here to here will also be b minus 6 okay now before we start solving this first if this is the first time you have seen us please click the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos we upload our videos every day tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video and welcome to my channel i don't think i welcomed you right okay now let's continue so where am i driving at if from here to here is 22 okay so it means that b minus 2 b minus 2 plus b right plus b plus b minus 6 plus b minus 6 we give us 22 yes now let us collect like terms we have b okay plus b plus b then minus 2 minus 6 is equal to 22 all right b plus b plus b will give us 3b so we have 3b then minus 2 minus 6 will give us minus 8 is equal to 22 so we go ahead to get 3b will be equal to 22 minus 8 we cross become plus 8 so we have 3b is equal to 30 so from here we can get the value of b right yeah so to get the value of b we divide both sides of this equation by three so we have 3b divided by 3 
is equal to 30 divided by 3. Now, 3 will divide itself to give us 1. 1 times B will give us B. Is equal to 3 will divide 30 to give us 10. So, B is equal to 10. Now, remember we are told to find the sum of the area of the three squares. Okay? Now, let's start from the first square. All right? Okay. Now, for the first square, the area is equal to length squared. So, first of all, the length of the first square is equal to, remember that the length is B minus 2, okay? Is equal to B minus 2. So, it simply means that the length is, remember that our B is 10, is 10 minus 2, okay? So, that means that the length, let's call it L1, the length is what? 8. Now, remember that the area is length squared. Therefore, the area of the first one should be 8 squared, which is 64. We have gotten the area of the first one, all right? Now, for the second um, square, for the second square, the area, the length is equal to B. That means the length is equal to 10. Now, the area is equal to length squared, which is equal to 10 squared. So it means that A is equal to 100. So that is the area of the second square. Now the third square, the area of the third square, okay? Now area is length squared and length here is B minus 6. The length is B minus 6. So it means that the length is 10. Oh, what is our B again? Yeah, 10 minus 6. So it simply means that it simply means that area of the third um, square, which is this, is what? This is 10 minus 6, which will give us 4. It's going to be 4 squared, length squared, right? So the area is equal to 16. Now, we collect all the areas and we add them together because that is what the question says. So we are going to write the final area, the sum of the areas, okay, is equal to 16 plus 64 plus um, 100, right? So we have 64 plus 16 will give us 80 and 80 plus 100 will give us 180. So it's going to be 180 units squared. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.